tonight. From Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. see Mac Jones and the New England Patriots taking on Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills. It is a chilly night here in the northeastern U.S., but we've got some football to keep us warm at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. Tonight we kick off week 13 with a great Thursday night matchup between the Buffalo Bills and the New England Patriots. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Patriots team entering play. The streak continues, doesn't it? They come in here a perfect 11-0. Here's the putter, Jake Bailey, ready to do the honors. And we are underway in Foxborough. And this will go as a touchback, and they will begin things at the 25. Well, we see the Bills offense take the field here at quarterback Josh Allen. And he ought to have a lot of pep in his step after last week's performance because he did exactly as you want him to play if you're a coach. Three touchdown passes, zero interceptions, which usually means you're making a lot of right decisions out there. And got him the win. First down. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And from the 25, they work this to the 29. A gain of four. Nice job by the defense figuring that play out and holding it to a short game. But I don't think the offense is going to be daunted. They actually accomplished their goal there. Now they've got them aware that they can throw a screen at them. Maybe the pass rush down a little bit and they can throw it downfield. And this Patriot defense up to the they again stop him behind the line. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for. One of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. A tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. Here's Allen. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. It's a pickup of 17 on that one. It builds first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route. Just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. No gain on the play there. Second down. Now Allen. Now this is intercepted. He was trying to get it to Davis. Picked off by Adrian Phillips. Well, that is a quick lesson on how difficult this defense is to throw against an interception on their initial drive of the ball game. Now the entire week awake trying to prepare for this one because you can't totally shy away from throwing the football. But at the same time, you're looking at them and going, where are the weaknesses? How are we going to move it? One of the top defenses in the NFL for a reason. We just saw one example right there. They'll start out here with a jet sweep. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Make it second and four. The CD, you know, this offense at 11-0 now on 
the year. A few weeks ago, I remember asking you what kind of percentage chance that you thought they had at staying unbeaten the entire season. I think you said 25%. I'd imagine that number probably grown since then. I would agree with you, and I'm going to actually bump it up to closer to 50% only because they saw some tough games to come. And keeping that focus throughout the entire season, that's been a really difficult thing to pull off. But so far, they've done it, and they've done it well. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. They're able to convert with a gain of four. These two AFC East rivals, Buffalo and New England, well, the Bills, they've kind of flipped the script the last few years in this series. The Patriots own the division for so long, won 16 times in 17 years, but it's the Bill. And that is caught, one-handed. Oh, my, pulled it in. That one goes for 30 yards. Already over 1,000 yards receiving this season. That catch is just going to add to his total. Certainly not resting on his laurels. He's trying to continue to gain as many yards as possible and continue this big season. First and goal, a chance to convert that early turnover into points. Harris will take this one in. Touchdown, Patriots. So they brought the extra bulk in down on the one yard line, and they're able to push this one across. Yeah, I can just see your face right now because I know we're mind melding on this one. Coach Madden would love this. Football, hat on a hat, chest to chest, driving forward, touchdown. Nick Fulk for the point after. And he gets it to make it 7 nothing Patriots. So that drive spanned five plays. And it was Damian Harris who finished things off with a touchdown run. Kick it away after the touchdown. McKenzie will not return this, and it will be brought out to the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others where they think they have an advantage, dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. Throwing again on second down. Allen, caught right side, Davis. And Charles, you think about what this defense has had to prepare for. They're in for a battle, and they're facing a team that is working on a six-game winning streak. And that can be intimidating when you think about it in those terms, but I think what they need to do is make some sort of a statement early in this game there's a turnover, a takeaway, a key sack on third down, a three and out. Something lets the other guys know that you mean business. Figuratively, throw the first punch and make it a good one. Here's Allen on first and ten. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. These are his numbers from last week's contest. Five catches, 79 yards, and a touchdown. And he's able to pull that last pass in, but this is usually a pretty tough unit to try and maneuver against. They're the top 10 in the league against the pass, and you and I both know there's not much difference between 1 and 10. So a loss of five, and it'll be second down. Gonna throw. And he's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And he's got another first down as the tackle's gonna be made at the Patriots 23. That one goes for 24 yards. Throwing on first down is Allen. 
Dancing to his left. And they're going to be set up now with a ball at the 13-yard line. He was certainly quick to atone for his early game interception. Instead of making another mistake forcing something, he reset himself and found a lane to pick up the first down. Operating from the red zone now, Allen. This will be caught at about the five. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Charles, Thursday night game, I think a lot of teams probably say shrink the playbook somewhat. Is that correct? I think you're right about that because you just don't have the amount of time that you have in a normal week to put in a full playbook. So as you said, you shrink the playbook, pick out the plays that work best for you. You know what else you're looking for? It's a, who the freshest guys coming off the last game playing on Thursday night. Guys have a little extra pep in their step. You go to them early and often. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Now at third and two, they're going to elect to throw with Allen. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. So on fourth down, out is Tyler Bass in the Buffalo field goal unit. This is a fairly straightforward 22-yard short attempt. The kick by Bass is good. But still trailing, it's seven to three. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. And listen, these Thursday night games, they're tough on the body. You just played on Sunday, 72 hours later. Hey, it's game day again. But I have to think a Thursday night game in September much more preferable than a Thursday nighter in December, no? Well, there's no doubt about it. You mentioned how tough it is on the body. How about the mind? You're already tired, fatigued, right? Trying to battle for playoff spots. And here you have the quick turnaround. Now the flip side is, if you take care of business, win that Thursday nighter, you go into a mini open week. Gives you a few extra days to heal up the body and the mind before you play your next game. Looking to throw again on second down. Jones. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Brandon, watching their tape from last week, I saw plenty of plays like we just saw there, forcing incompletions. It was key in their win last week. They're hoping the same thing happens this time out, too. Hunter Henry brings it in. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Now a first down carry for Harris. And he's going to be stopped at about the 37. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven. Leaves him with a second and three. Well, this defense for the Bills, they were terrific a week ago in that win over Detroit. And no matter what's done throughout a ball game, it always comes back to blocking and tackling. That's the essence of football. But I think it's hard for people to understand just how difficult it is to tackle, especially open field. Very few missed tackles on tape that I saw last game. This team does a nice job of getting their opponents on the ground. Jones will sneak it. And he'll be touched out here, but not before he does pick up the first. One yard is the game. And that's good for New England first down. Now Jones. A thrown to Parker complete on the slant. And they're going to move it down the inside the 25. There's a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. And he swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. Heavy set out there on third and one. 
Here's a sneak with Jones. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It's been a good drive so far. They just wanted to keep it going. So they call low risk, low reward play. No one's worried about picking up big yardage here. Quarterback sneak, keep the chains moving, and pick up another first down. Harris running straight ahead. Brought down at the 20. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. This is caught. Touchdown. Executed there offensively. Defense looked a little confused, but he found his receiver, and that one good for six points. And the payoff we just saw there tells us how many times they ran this play in practice over the past few weeks because they executed that flawlessly right here on game day when the situation arose. Extra point up and good by Folk, and that pushes the lead up to 11. So that drive, 12 plays in length. And it was capped by the touchdown pass to Nelson Aguilar. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. McKenzie will not return this, and it will be brought out to the 25. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. As mentioned, this one of the hottest teams in the NFL, riding that winning streak into this one. But now playing here on Thursday night, do you think this helps or hurts their momentum? But ordinarily, I'd say it hurts the momentum because now you've got that short week. But when a team's playing as well as they are, it actually allows them to down focus and only worry about themselves and less about their opponent. So when you're playing well, you just worry about the things you're doing well and let the opponent deal with that. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. An extra corner comes on now for the Patriots. D on third down. Here's Allen to throw it. And Diggs has it. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Nice third down conversion and even 20 yards. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Got his man complete over the middle. It's McKenzie. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. Now Allen off the bootleg. On the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. They'll try to run for this with Singletary. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After one, a 14-3 ball game. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Allen. The throw on target to his receiver, McKenzie. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Short completion, just four yards. And that will bring up second down. Now the third running back taken in April's draft. This is James Cook. That one, a first down pickup of eight. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? On first down, Allen. He's got the hook up with Diggs. Touchdown! Stephon Diggs. 28 yards, and the Bills are back within a score.
An extra point by Bass, up and good. And that makes it a 14-10 ball game. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. This taken in at the goal line. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. The Pats at the line ready to go. Well, this offense looks like they have a little extra pep in their step as they take the field here for drive number three because remember, Charles, drives one and two both ended in the end zone. Yeah, and right now they've just got to be careful not to lean into overconfidence because every drive has a life of its own. But I like the way that they've started, the way that they're going about doing things right now, they've got a chance for that third consecutive touchdown, and that would be a crushing blow to the defense. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. 49, 49, 49. On the give, this is Harris. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. From the 41, Jones. Harris has it over the middle. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Throwing Jones. Completes it to Aguilar. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. And this defense not ready for that one as he'll take this down inside the 25. On first and 10, Jones. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. My first thought is surprise, because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense, forcing that incompletion. And he's able to work free for about six down to the 18. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. And yeah, the Patriots are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. This offense, number one in the NFL in picking up first downs in the run game, got him another one there. A really good stat to lead the league in, isn't it? Because if you keep picking up first downs, sustaining drives, that means you're controlling the football, controlling the clock, and letting your defense rest on the sidelines. They go play action here on first down. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Looked like both sides were anticipating a quick throw there, and the defense was ready to jump in and deny it, and they did. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. They hand this off to Harris. And a little bit of space there. Takes it inside the five to the three. Give it right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. Off play action. Jones. And they're going to get to him. A sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. The veteran Kyle Van Noy in there to drop him. So on fourth down, Jones jogs off, and on comes a longtime vet, Nick Folk, for the Pats field goal try. And Folk's kick is good. And that moves him up by a touchdown now at 17 10. Well, I don't know if they would have gone for it on fourth and goal anyway, but the sack on third down pretty much made their mind up for it. You're exactly right about that. And this is a tough place on the field to take a sack because, as you just noted, it took the decision making away from them. Now they have to go for a field goal instead of potentially going for it. McKenzie will not return this, and it will be brought out to the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. 
They find themselves down 17-10 as they come up on a first and 10. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. It's pretty easy to overlook the fullback when you're making your assignments defensively in the pass coverage game, but in this case, they made him pay for that oversight and picks up a nice game. On second down, Cook looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. The offense on third down tonight, they've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This will be third and five. Allen now looks to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, they came up with points in their first two possessions, but it looks like they'll come up empty here on their third drive. The defense finally starting to get locked into them a little bit. Might have to go a little bit deeper into their playbook on their next possession. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Patriots take over. Damian Harris to the Patriot offense, ready to take over again. It may just be the second quarter, but he's in his zone, well on his way to eclipsing that 100-yard mark. And when a back has a game, as we're witnessing right now, his name's going to be in the books. But it's really a collective deal, isn't it? Because that means he's getting plenty of blocking, a lot of help from his teammates, but he's making the most of it. Yeah, he's made the most of it to this point. But normally you see three tight ends in a formation. You have to think to yourself, this has got to be a run. And I know as a safety, when I saw that, I took an extra step or two towards the line of scrimmage. Instead, they threw the ball, and he found one of those tight ends for a very nice pickup. Jones throw into the hands of Henry here. And they get this down here around the 47-yard line. What a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. He's going to let one go deep for Parker. Leave it, he will make the catch. And he kicks us to the inside of 15, just a yard or two. Position after the big play inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. This is Harris. And he's got a solid gate of nine before being brought down in second and right in a yard. Some good strong running right there, some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. The last run got nine. And that leaves him with second and a yard. Oh, now a running play here with Smith. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one yard line. Only gets a yard, but it's enough to set him up first and goal. Down. 
Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? And the Patriots are going to be set up with a first and goal and strong running gets them to the nine-yard line. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. They run with Harris. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. Give him right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. Now whistles at a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half on as the field goal unit to see about getting three points. The folks kick is good, and that will do it for this first half. So we've reached halftime here at Gillette Stadium with the Patriots on top. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks. Back for the second half of Thursday Night Football in just a moment. But first, the bye weeks are over. We've got a full slate of 16 games once again. So let's give everybody a look ahead at what's to come here. Past the halfway point of the season and now past the halfway point of this game. We skip halftime and get right back to the action. Set to begin the third quarter. On the return, Marcus Jones from the end zone. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Get another look at Devontae Parker and the Patriot offense. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? 
but it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. Open man here, the tight end Henry. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A gain there of 21 yards. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Now a play fake here on first down. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. So that one a hold right guard. And you understand why offensive and defensive linemen probably go to martial arts schools and work on their hands so often because that could be the make or break difference on a play. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. Now this one from about two counties over after the sack. They come up on a second and very long. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. I remember Coach told me a long time ago the difference between playing corner and safety in the NFL. Corner is like the Autobahn. Everybody just flying by, and these corners have been really busy in this game, although they got it done on the last play. On the last play, yes, but there have been some good numbers put up against them offensively. An incredible play there. They do get big yardage, but they're still stopped a yard or two short, and it's fourth down. They're going to run this with a tight end. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. We're all still valiantly searching for the so-called book. Right, that tells us what to do in every situation. Everyone kind of knows what it says, but it's never really been written down anywhere. He violated every code on that one, didn't he? <laughs> Deciding to go for it right there. Oh, yeah, your side of the field, this stage of the game, you're supposed to punt the football. He said, who cares? I'm going to light the book on fire. Yeah, analytics, everyone else, you warned. And he's going to go down. They get to it back at the 40. Von Miller. In there to get him, sack number 14 for him on the year. Now, this has been a good march down the field, but now they're stuck looking at a second and 14. Here's Harris. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. And the offense moving quickly to the line. On third down, here's Harris. And he'll be stopped short of the first down as they rally to tackle him at about the 28. It's a seven-yard run, but it does bring up fourth down. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense get a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. They'll go with Strong, and he's going to get the first down here as he's taken down at the 22. They're able to keep the drive alive seven yards that time, and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. 112 yards rushing now for the NFL leader coming into this ball game. Well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I've loved the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick, he's been decisive, and he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And it's caught. Touchdown, Patriots. Ramondre Stevenson. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Patriots take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that's the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season, is a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more, reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown.
McKenzie will not return this, and it'll be brought out to the 25. The football back to the Bills and Stephon Diggs. Pretty good game for him so far. I guess he's still got time here to make this a great game, but so far, he's been solid. I like where you're going with that because it has been pretty good, but there's always that hint that things can really escalate for him. And right now, they, they feel like they're somewhat keeping him in check, but he has found the end zone once, but boy, he can explode at any moment. Yeah, and when you hit that end zone once, you want to find it again, don't you? <laughs> yes, it, you do. It you makes get, you hungrier. You, you get greedy in a good way. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. They'll try and pick it up by running the option to the right. That's a good acceleration there as he's across midfield to the 48-yard line. So not his arm, but hurting him with his legs. A gain of 19 on the keeper and a first down. Now Allen. Working the middle here. That's complete to Knox, the tight end. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. The throw again on second down. Allen. Throw right side caught by Davis. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. To throw, it's Allen. Steps away to his left. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. I'm sure it was a tough halftime trying to figure out some strategy to get things going. Trailing by a lot when they went into the locker room. He's just trying every avenue to spark his team here to begin the third quarter. Not a lot going on on that play, though. Allen's throw going to be caught by McKenzie. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 22-yard line. A give to Cook out of the gun. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Now, that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. Allen's throw taken in by Diggs. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. They kept the receiver in the short field. Now that his quarterback kept the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Up the middle, it's Cook. And able to get inside the five here, just inside the five to about the four. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Option play, here's Cook. And he takes it in across the chalk for a Bills touchdown. James Cook with his fourth run. Touchdown of the year, and the Bills get a bit closer. Allen will try to throw for it. That's caught. And he got it on the touchdown run, but he won't get in here. He'll stop short, and they'll come up empty on the try for two. So unable to throw it in for two from the two. Let me ask you, as a former DB, what changes there around the goal line on a two-point conversion as far as how you're defending? You just make sure you never back up and you never retreat. You, you establish yourself really on the line of scrimmage. Put your heels on the goal line at worst. And if they're going to throw the ball, make them throw it over your head because they're going to run out of space because of the back of the end zone. Never let a guy catch one in front of you. Offense returns to the field. There's the running back to Bruiser from Alabama, Damian Harris. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're a back, because that means everything's coming together for you. Big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. You probably got some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block, but they're helping out too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. On second down, this is Harris. And he'll work his way across the 30 to the 32. 
120 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Four yards on the pickup. Good enough to extend the drive. Someone's been having a good game so far. And you know something? Lava's has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. Jones throwing on first down. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Another try after the first down sack. Jones, and that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. And he is going to pick up a Patriots first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. It's a gain of 17 that time. And it gives the Pats a first down. Harris. And some space here. And they nearly sprung him that time as he takes this all the way down to the 37. Now they'll get the yardage on the run and get 15 more for good measure. Yeah, that wasn't too difficult to spot. You heard the sideline erupting. The flags came out almost immediately. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Second and a couple. Jones. And that almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. They'll try and run for the first with Stevenson. And all the way down inside the five to the four. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, this has been a long drive. In fact, it's eaten up a good chunk of the third quarter, which is precisely what you want when you're playing with the lead. You control the football, you control the clock, and impose your will on the defense. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Down near the goal line, things really get physical. You're always anticipating a running play, but when they do throw it, things happen quickly. A little bit of a bang-bang play there that falls incomplete. Second down and goal. Jones. There's Henry. Touchdown, Patriots. Four yards on the touchdown grab. As his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. Well, Charles, he's still a young signal caller in this league. Second year in the NFL. And I don't know if last year as a rookie if he would have worked through his progressions like he did on that touchdown pass. I think you're right about that. We're seeing him grow up right in front of our eyes because... When he went to his primary read, he recognized that they were all over that. So he continued to survey the field, picked up another target, delivered a pass exactly where it needed to be. A very mature play for the second-year quarterback. Bailey down to kick it away after the touchdown. McKenzie will not return this, and it will be brought out to the 25. Buffalo set to get the football back here. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are right, you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear. 
who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, it's, let's just say it's been unusual. Allen from the gun on third down. And he completes it to the tight end, Knox. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. 50 catches for him now on the year, and he's got a first down. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. From midfield, here's Allen. And it's intercepted. Picked up by the Michigan man, Jabril Peppers. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Patriot defense has a touchdown. Well, this one was already ugly, and now it's just kind of becoming a feast on the defensive side of the football. Yeah, partner, this is a unit that knows they've got this game in the bag with this huge lead. And it's going to drive their coaches crazy because they're telling them, play it straight, do all the right things. But these guys are going to be freewheeling now. All of them are going to take chances. And that one pays off with an INT and a return for six. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. McKenzie will not return this, and it will be brought out to the 25. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. This has been frustrating for them to this point. They have not looked the same as they did coming in, riding that impressive six-game win streak. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. And they may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen. Being chased out left. And he wisely will throw that one away. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. Allen and Knox teaming up there for Buffalo first down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Setting up the screen for Cook. Jukes by again. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. And with this game well in hand, perhaps we are seeing the coverage lighten up a little bit as they got burned there a bit for a first down. Well, we certainly know the coach isn't happy along the sideline because he certainly wants them to finish this one out the way they started it. He doesn't want to give up any soft completions, no late point. He wants this lead to stay right where it is. 
it's second and nine. And again, it's Allen. Going right back to Knox, and again, a completion. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. Now Cook, he's got it off the draw. Yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Allen off the play fake. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. A loss of three on the sack made by multiple defenders. You can almost see all the defenders rubbing their hands together with glee because we all know they relish the chance to bring down a quarterback of his caliber. Anyone who brings him down has plenty to talk about. Not just a sack, but a big win built off the efforts of this defense. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. They'll get this down inside the 10 for a pickup of about three. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally, because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. And he'll take this from the nine down to about the seven. We know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but... And Allen going to be intercepted for the third time. And the Pats will take over here at their own 12-yard line. Well, they've got the huge lead. Now they have another interception on the defensive side. Seems like everything they touch in this one, Charles, turns to gold. And they have to be awfully happy right there to get what appears to be one more for the road and help seal away one of their best efforts of the season. And he'll be taken down, but they've got this one up to the 35-yard line. 147 yards on the ground for him now as he's gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. And carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it. And it's second down. Looking to throw. Jones. Open man, the tight end, Henry. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. Still throwing the football here, even with the big lead. Yeah, I know you and I came up with a different era. We think about sportsmanship and all that. Other people think about fantasy points and getting their numbers. That's all they care about right now. Now a first down carry for Harris. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Back to throw, Jones. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. Well, their passing attack, even though that one was incomplete, has been really sharp in this one. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns, and it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make everyone involved on offense pretty happy because that gives them all a chance to pad their stats a bit. But as far as the actual need, you and I both know they can just run this clock out because this one, it was over a long time ago. On third down, here's Stevenson. And he's able to work his way down inside the red zone to the 19-yard line. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball, 
you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. And the Patriots are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. Here's Stevenson. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. Give him three on the gain there, second and goal. That didn't just feel like good defense there. That felt like pride, didn't it? He's already gotten into the end zone twice, trying to get there for a third. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. A touchdown run there from a yard out. And the Patriots add on to their lead. And it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. Everybody in the stadium knew what they were going to do right there, CD. Three tight ends on the field, all that extra bulk, and they run it in. And you saw where that one went, right? You run it over your best blocker. I can just see the head coach right now. I want to run this one over the big boy. And they got it done. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. McKenzie will not return this, and it'll be brought out to the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And, Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because... They're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Throwing again on second down. Allen right back to Cook for another completion. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. Well, I mean, look, obviously there's no 20 or 30-point play in that playbook, but they can try to end things on a positive note despite trailing big, and that looks like what they're trying to do here by pushing the ball downfield. Well, let me go with the heavy cliche then, partner. Just control what you can control right now, and all they can control here is how their final plays develop. So it's Bill's football here as we get you reset. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. On second and 11 now. So the pitch and catch good for 11. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third and inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. Now Allen. And this is going to be intercepted. Devin McCourty picks it off. And the Patriots are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. CD, this defense, I mean, at this rate, they're just having fun out there right now. And normally with this type of a lead, if you're a starter on defense, you're saying, hey, let the other guys play. But with this going on, no one wants to come out of the game. They all want their shot at picking off a pass. That one looks like he'll throw here. Going deep here for Parker. A oh, contested ball here, and it's going to be caught. A big play there for New England. 41 yards. Even with a big lead here in the fourth, it still bombs away. And frankly, it's working. Why should they stop? Go ahead and keep firing away and gaining those yards. Stevenson now on first and 10. 62 yards on the ground for him so far. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts. That'll be with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. 49, 49, guys. Mike, Mike, 49. Let's go, Pete. Looking to throw. Jones. A quick throw. Not 
knocked away and incomplete. But up big here in the fourth quarter, up really big. That passing incompletion. I don't think they needed the completion, but Charles, this is an offense right now that they're just having fun. They're clicking on all cylinders. Yeah, you're right. They didn't need a completion. They certainly don't need any more points. But they're not going to turn them down. They're going to continue to run what they have in their playbook, and they still want to run it efficiently. Oh, now look at this. They're lining up to add three more. A little insult to injury here late in the game. Spotted at the left hash. This from 45. And the 14-year trusty veteran able to knock it through. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but... They'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know, if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. And as this defense walks off the field, they can do so with their heads held high. What a performance well, by, by the offense, too. I mean, really, Charles, just complete domination on both sides of the football here in this one. It certainly was, and I think both sides compete against each other all the time. You go to each other in practice, obviously your training camps, your offseason. But on game day, you both want to show your best. And I think that's what we saw from both the offense and the defense, a complete team victory. So for the Pats, the streak continues as they push their mark to a perfect 12-0 now on the year. And now they'll get the weekend off as they get a little extra time to prepare to face the Arizona Cardinals. Meanwhile, for the Bills, it's a loss that could wind up costing them a first-round bye as they dip to 9-3. And, and they'll be back home next week for a date with the New York Jets. So for our entire crew, alongside Charles,